and hello and thank you all for attending this webinar. We are going to talk today about solid phase extraction, about its fundamentals and recent developments in the area. SPE, as it's known, has become the most powerful technique available for rapid and selective sample preparation prior to um, chromatographic separations. That's because SP has many advantages. It extends the lifetime of the chromatographic systems and improves qualitative and quantitative analysis. If you look at the time spent on the lithical processes, sample processing still takes the biggest chunk of the time um, from any lab work. Uh, it can present a significant bottleneck. It can account for over 60 time, 61 percent of time spent on analysis and can contribute to 30 percent of the experimental errors. So choosing the correct sample prep protocol can go a long way to making an analysis more reliable and increasing laboratory throughput. Where does solid phase extraction fit in the analytical chromatography workflow? Solid phase extraction is a sample preparation technique. So right after sample collection, you apply solid phase extraction um, to a wide variety of matrices, and it comes prior to HPLC or GC analysis. SP is a form of liquid chromatography. The particle size for SP that's used for SP is larger than that for HPLC. Um, and SP can be selective and versatile. Many sorbents and elution conditions are available. What are the goals in using SP extraction? The first um, characteristic of a good SP method is to obtain high analyte recovery. And that contributes to higher sensitivity of the analytical methods. Then is to provide the minimal interference from sample matrix that contribute to both sensitivity and good resolution. The analyte concentration is one of the goals of the SP. Uh, so that's again is a sensitivity issue and you can preconcentrate analyte during the SP method. The method should be simple and require the minimum amount of spe steps that contributes to the speeding up the method when you're performing that in the laboratory. And of course, the method is required to be reproducible, short, and uses minimum wash and elution solvent to be economical. Now we're going to look at how does SP work. There are two different elution strategies in SP. And it depends on the goal of the extraction, which strategy one chooses to use. The binded loop strategy that is shown on the next slide is the more common strategy, where the analytes are bound to the sorbent, and then unwanted matrix components are washed off, and then the analytes are eluted. And different elution conditions can elute different analytes, so the fractionation also is possible with this method. The second strategy is interference removal strategy, and that strategy is a pretty quick strategy, whereas the sample passed through the tube and all matrix components are left on the tube or a speed device, and the analytes are washed off. 